This video is all about Quizlet.com and how you can use Quizlet as a student resource and also as a teacher resource. Quizlet is a wonderful website that most people think of as a flashcard alternative. Instead of handing out physical flashcards to your students or having them create their own flashcards, you can send students to Quizlet.com and they can really learn a lot from Quizlet. So here on Quizlet, I can just do a search, let's say for a set of terms, vocabulary, math facts, whatever it might be that I want my students to learn. And Quizlet is especially good for foreign languages, but it's also excellent for any other content where there's a definite right and wrong answer to questions and anything that needs to be memorized or that's helpful if the students memorize it, Quizlet can definitely help with all of those kinds of subjects and topics. So I just did a search here for some vocabulary in a foreign language and you can see it gave me lots and lots of vocabulary flashcard sets that I can use and a lot of them are just text, in this case Spanish words, English words, but others have photos associated with them. And you can see which ones have photos just by putting your mouse on top of the results and it usually gives you a little preview of what they are. Now I can click on that the flashcard set and I can use it to learn these Spanish words. And this is fantastic for students. The teacher doesn't really have to do any work on Quizlet. All you have to do is send the students here. If you're a student and your teacher doesn't use Quizlet, it doesn't matter. You just go to Quizlet and do searches, find flashcard sets, and then there's all these different activities and tools that you can use to learn the the terms or the math facts or whatever it is. So I can click start here flashcards El cerdo. and it speaks to me in the language. It reads to me the text that's there on the screen and then I can click Vive to, en la granja. Nos da carne. to the back of the card to see the results and you can click this arrow down here la vaca. to go to the next question. And so this is really an excellent way to do flashcards virtually and I love that you can put pictures in. It, it's a great touch especially for foreign language. Now let's look at some of those other activities. On the previous screen there were some activities across the page. Well here they are again across the top of the screen. I can click learn and there's an activity for that. With learn it's just basically quizzing me. It's asking me a question in Spanish and then I have to put in what I think the correct answer is and I got it correct. If, it, if you get it wrong, it'll keep asking you and it'll recycle that question until you start getting it right. You can press to continue. Let's look at what happens if you get it wrong. Notice that it marks it as incorrect, but it does tell you what the right answer is. Let's move on to Speller. Speller is especially good in a foreign language. It's, it's simple, type what you hear. El cerdo. And this is basically a dictation and it's meant to help you spell things correctly and learn to spell and recognize sounds and words accurately. There's also a test and this is basically just a practice test. It Quizlet automatically generates this kind of a, of a test based on the questions and the flashcards that have been built and it's just a, a quick quiz. Um, there's fill in the blank, there's multiple choice, sometimes there's true and false, and then you can check your answer. So it's wonderful for students to do just a quick auto self-test to make sure that they're getting ready and prepared for the exam. And then there's also two activities that are basically games. I can click here on scatter. It says make everything disappear. You start the game and all the flashcards are put on the screen and you have to match them up accurately and correctly. So. If you match them up correctly, they disappear. If you do it wrong, then it won't accept it and you have to keep working. And it's kind of a contest. This is how long it's taking me to do it. You're trying to do it faster and faster. And then the, the other activity is a, a race. And you click start playing and you see that questions start flying across the screen. And the idea is you have to answer the question before it exits the screen. And if you don't, then you lose points and it gives you a, a score and you can track high scores and everything you can see here there's a high score button so it's kinda nice so I just love Quizlet it, it's a wonderful student resource student tool now notice that you can also print even though th these are electronic flashcards they're meant to be used paperless if you prefer or if you just would like to offer this to your students you can click print and it does let you print out the flashcards as traditional flashcards. You can do it either as a table, a glossary, small flashcards, large flashcard sets, or full index card size flashcards. And then you can just click open PDF and it gives you a PDF that you can print out, you can post it on your website, whatever you want to do. So this is wonderful for, for old school if you want to use paper. Um, this is a, a great option to have.
So everything that I've shown you so far, that's all totally free. You don't have to have an account. You just show up and you use it. And I want you to know that there are Quizlet apps for the iPhone, for the iPad, for Android devices and other smartphones. So you or your students can study the things that you need to memorize and you can do that from the convenience of a device that you usually have with you or that your students usually have with you. So it's kind of nice. Now, like I said, that, that was all done without having an account. But if you do, sign up for a free Quizlet account. You can sign in and I've just done that and the wonderful thing about this is you can create your own flashcard sets. These are some flashcard sets that I've made or that I have been given and I can create more flashcard sets and then I can easily assign these to my students or embed these flashcard sets on my website so the students can see them and use them. And I can track high score lists and all sorts of good things that you can do if you sign in and create your own flashcard sets. So I'm going to click create a set. It's super easy to do. You just go in, title your flashcard set, put in a description, decide who can see it by default, and then who can help you edit. And then from then on, all you do is click and type, type in a word, and then type in the translation or you could type in a question and the correct answer. Doesn't have to be a foreign language question and answer. Notice that you can also click to add images. So I could click here and just click add image. It says upload image and search image but just so you know upload image is not free. You would have to upgrade your account to a paid account and you can see there's a couple of options there. One year is $15 or you could get the Quizlet teacher version which it has extra things that uh, teachers could use for $25 dollars a year but you can use Quizlet just fine for free and be very successful now if you don't want to pay to upload images you can choose search images and you can search Quizlet's uh, image bank for a picture that you could use so here's one I'll just click on it and now when this flashcard is accessed it'll have the Spanish word and it'll have the picture of the tree and I could just keep adding flashcards to my flashcard set this way. You can see you can add another row if you need it. And then when you're done, just click Save. And this will be a flashcard set that I can access from then on here in my flashcard sets. Now, I mentioned that once you've created a flashcard set, or even if you've found somebody else's, as long as it's public, what you can do is click on it and then embed it onto your own website. So if I wanted to embed this on my web page, all I would have to do is go here to more tools and choose embed and it has all these different activities that I could choose to, to embed on my own website but I would just click to highlight and then copy just copy that code and then in Weebly or whatever your website building tool is you would just paste that embed code into the HTML code editor and it would add this flashcard set to your website. Let's take a look at an example of that here in Weebly. This is just a free Weebly website that I'm building and you can see over here on the left side if I drag down the page a little ways it says embed code and this is an HTML embed code so I can just click and drag and drop that onto my Weebly page and then it says click to set custom HTML and then I can paste in that embed code that I got from Quizlet and then with Weebly, you just have to click outside this box in order to make it activate. So I'm going to click outside of it. It activates it. And now if I publish my web page, my students would be able to go to this website to practice their Spanish. Football. El fútbol americano. And they would never have to go to Quizlet.com. They could just go to my web page. So this is a wonderful thing. If you want to learn more about Weebly as a website builder, I have another video that talks about that that you could check out. So I want you to be able to see the iPhone app for Quizlet. And so I'm just going to pull that up. This is a free app that anyone can download. I'll just tap on Quizlet to open it up. And I'm going to switch to landscape mode. And I had previously already signed into my free account. With the app, it does kind of require you to sign in to your free Quizlet account. But once you do that, notice that it lists all the um, flashcard sets that I've created in the past or that I've copied from other people and notice in the upper right corner I can also create by tapping that plus sign I can also create flashcard sets right here on my phone if I'd like. I myself uh, prefer to do this online using a laptop or a desktop computer so I can have the full keyboard and all that but still it's nice to be able to 
create flashcard sets if you're on the go or if you're in class and you don't have a laptop or a computer with you. Notice that you can also search the internet for other people's flashcard sets. In the upper right corner, I can tap on that search button and I can search for specific users. I can search for classes or study sets that I want to look for and use. So I'm going to type in animales and it found a bunch of different flashcard sets, but I'll just pull up the first one. You can see there's words and pictures in this one and I can use this to study it and then when I'm ready at the very top of this there were three different activities I could do on the website of course there's five or six but here in the app there's just three there's the cards and just like online I can tap to hear the word pronounced and I can tap to uh, flip the card over so that's really good there's also a learn activity that's similar to the online learn activity. It's basically just quizzing me. Uh, I have to be able to type in the, the correct answer. And then there's also the match activity. So this is a really good app. And I love this idea of students having the teacher's questions and the answers to those questions with them at all times in their pocket. You know, if they have a smartphone, they can have these questions and answers with them at all times. So I'm a big fan of Quizlet, and I think all teachers and students should know about this. As a teacher, if you're not going to use it, that's fine. But maybe tell your students about it so that they, they go and they can use the flashcard sets that already exist. If you do a search on Quizlet for just about any textbook that's a modern textbook, chances are you're going to find it. Here's a Spanish textbook, and you can see that there's chapter after chapter after chapter of vocabulary and questions that have been uploaded and created by other people across the world. And I can access that without any work on my part, and so can my students. So Quizlet is definitely worth knowing about and checking out. Now, if you're in higher education as a student or as a professor or instructor, you should know that Quizlet is excellent. You can, you can use it definitely in higher education, but there's also a, a similar service called StudyBlue. And for some reason, StudyBlue tends to appeal a little bit more to college professors and college students, although, like I said, you can very successfully use Quizlet in higher education as well. So you may be interested in learning about StudyBlue. Study Blue seems to have less of an emphasis on sharing flashcard sets with the world, so it doesn't seem to be as good as Quizlet at just providing a massive amount of flashcards that anyone can use. On the other hand, it seems to focus more on people creating their own content, but especially for higher education, it's definitely worth looking into. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all my videos about education and technology.